last night, I got really fucked up. I had a lot of Dominican rum. I don't even know what it was, but I had a lot of it. I woke up this morning. I'm not even hungover. I'm still drunk. Pero que mi gente, it's my birthday. We're gonna go to my favorite city in the world, San Diego. I'm taking the Pedro Light crew down there, Curly, Maya, me, and Norberto. We're gonna do una vaina bien. They're all great people, and I feel like this is gonna be an adventure. All right, you guys, so Pedro Light is on our way to go to San Diego. We haven't been hey, in hey, years. Dad. We're going for Gadiel's birthday. Hey, oh, my We're going God. for Gadiel's birthday. San Diego, papa. <laughs> also, Maya needs to throw up again. Because I'm hungover, we're not pregnant. I may or may not have drank a little too much at the holiday party the night before. We're going to eat. Estamos bien, esto no es nada. Estamos bien aquí, pasándola. So the ride to San Diego was fairly interesting. No, 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 no. I was sitting in the back seat, and Gadiel's driving is intense. I think I have to throw up, though. Maya has to. Better not throw up on me. I was ready to blow. First of all, Maya gotta stop trying to throw up in my car. I told him to stop filming me. Do not film this. Stick your finger in your throat. No. Do you see me holding her hair? I was being a friend. Okay, I'm cutting. We pulled into San Diego and we're on a strict schedule. We got things to do and we got a little bit of time. I was like, you know what? They hungry. If we're gonna eat, we're gonna eat at the best barbecue spot in San Diego. Phil's Barbecue. We're actually breaking our diet today. No, not me. Me neither. Tomatoes? Not mine. Are you happy? After that, I was like, you know what? They gotta see some dope spots. The first beautiful spot I took them to was Seaport Village. I knew it. Did you hear that? I didn't say it. <laughs> we said, we said, I bet you in the next 10 minutes he's gonna say, Mino, I'll wow, get bonito. Mino, wow, I'll get bonito. <laughs> Once we got to Seaport Village, it was pretty cool. I'll give him credit for that. Then we went on the ferry to Coronado. They made my ass get on a boat. And Curly hates anything on water. I've watched Titanic like a thousand times. Garia, where are we going? We're gonna get on the ferry. We're gonna go to Coronado, baby. All right, so I actually hate the water. I don't fuck with the water. I don't do nothing on water. The only thing I do on water is drink it and shower. Once we were on there, it actually wasn't that bad. The ride was beautiful and it was great. And I kind of forgot that I was on water at one point. It was just a great moment to be with friends. Then we went straight to the hotel and got ready for the night ahead of us. So we gotta get ready. We gotta go to the dopest Latin spot in California, La Luz. So we get to the club, we walk inside, people saying, what up, yo, happy birthday. I'm like, yo, happy birthday to you too. I'm like, yo, what's up? <laughs> so when I got to the club, I went straight for the VIP section. No questions asked. We first got there and Maya was not really feeling it. I'm not a good dancer when it comes to like salsa dancing or anything. Mom, this is crazy. <laughs> but I ended up having a really good time. Gariel's friend even invited me out to dance. And even though I couldn't dance, it was still fun. She kind of pushed through. I pushed through my water fear and she pushed through her club fear. I was a little anxious because I don't really like to go clubbing, but I felt like I needed to get out of my comfort zone and I did it and it was fun. Gadiel's friend came over and was like, Gadiel needs to see you. And we headed over and we had some bomb ass sancocho. I was like, you know what? One thing they do need is sancocho. We're eating sancocho in the club. It tasted just like my mom's Salvadorian sopa de res. Sancocho is just really another way of saying sopa de res. No, it ain't. It's fucking delicious. I had a great time, oddly enough. I thought it was pretty cool. I had a blast at the club. It was so dope. The music was good, the DJ was good, the food was good. <laughs> I was trying to hold that in. I saw you. <laughs> we get back to the telly. We gotta relax, we go to sleep drunk. We went to sleep drunk and woke up drunk, you know, cause we gotta get ready for the morning. We gotta go to Andy's house cause we're gonna eat some mango. Fuck, man, last night I got really fucked up. I had a lot of Dominican rum and now I woke up this morning. I'm not even hungover, I'm still drunk. I didn't even have a hangover, I was just drunk still. But Norb and Gadiel were still drunk. They went to bed at like six in the morning and it was like nine, so. I think I woke up before you, Curly, did I? You woke up before all of us. Then we went over to Andy's house for some homemade mango. What are you doing? 
Mangu. I'm gonna say no Mangu. Andy is in a little tank top and an apron. What is Mangu? Mangu is a, it's a plantain, smashed plantains, like smashed potatoes, but instead of potatoes, we use plantains. I think anytime anybody wants to invite you into their home and feed you traditional food, it's super amazing, super exciting. So we do our saute onions, we put it on the top. And Excited then we for use our Dominican salami. Andy went on about Dominican salami, and all I could think about was just how dirty this sounded. I'm down for Only some Dominican, Dominican salami. Republic. I know. Only in the DR? Only in the DR you're gonna find a type of salami. I am about all about the Dominican salami. It was really nice for Andy and Arlene to open up their homes to me and my friend. Wow. Salami. Aquí nunca falta salami. That was dope. They made a mango. They also made coffee. Aquí estamos bien aquí. Mira esa vaina. Eso es mango. No me digas que no. Guys, he has been talking about how Andy is like a drinker. And he will make you drink too. I tried not to make eye contact with him, but every time I did, he was like, shot, shot. I wasn't intimidated. I was like, you know what? If he wants to offer me shots, I'll take him. No problem. He had Norm take nine shots. And it was only 11 a.m. You know, let's break the cake right here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for everything. I love all of you guys. Aww. They were delicious. Nora was like going at it. I mean, but good for her. Living her best life. What are you doing? I'm breaking my diet. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Overall, it was great to see my friends come together. It's always great to see like two different groups of friends just come together as one. But we still got things to do. We on schedule. A motherfucking schedule. First stop was La Jolla Cove. I wanted them to see the sea lions up close and personal. Gario was so cute because he was like, we gotta go to the sea lions, come on. Tu sabes, uno tiene que ser romántico. So how do you think this trip went? This trip was great. I had a lot of anxiety like before we went to the club because like I didn't know any of Gadiel's friends, mm -hmm. but it was fun. They were so nice to us and just so um, welcoming. I had such a good time. I think one of the things that I really liked about this trip and just about Better Like is that we are really good friends. It was nice to get out and enjoy my time with my friends. I call them colleagues, they're, but they're my friends. For a really long time, Gadiel asked us over and over again to come with him to San Diego, and I don't know why I was so skeptical, because this trip was really great, and we bonded more than ever. You know what? This was the dopest birthday I ever had. Like, I had my friends from LA, my friends from San Diego coming together. It was like, it was live. It was, even though we were on a schedule, we experienced so much and so little time. So, it was amazing. Come and get your daily concha from La Pocha Concha herself. She will make it pink for you. She'll make it white for you. She'll make it brown for you. Anything here. And lower. Anything, any kind of color concha you can think of. You can get here from La Pocha Concha. What kind of cream? Thank you.